We are here in beautiful Santa Barbara, California for the 2025 Autonomous Vehicle Challenges West Region Competition, the ABC. We we're all pretty excited to come out here and finish up our project. It's been a lot of just late night, like, okay, we got this done, but this part doesn't work on this other drone, so it's been wild. The competition was at 9 a.m., but we woke up at 7.30, and we met at the lab, and then, like, we got everything, like, every single screw possible. Like, we're going to bring hot glue, <laughs> duct tape, insulated tape, like, every material that you could possibly find and use, like, we brought here. I hope we're ready for it. I think we're just really excited to, to be here. We're really excited for these opportunities, and we're living it. All of our hard work is paying off. We have four universities competing today, from California State University Fullerton, California State University in Long Beach, Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, and UC Santa Barbara. They are here to execute on two challenges that Recal has defined. The first being an autonomous vehicle finding an Aruco marker on a field using a random search pattern. And the second being a search and rescue deployment where they find that marker and then the second vehicle is communicated to wirelessly to deliver a first aid package to the person in need. So far, we've done pretty good. Getting through that first challenge and passing is just a big relief. We were just like, oh, <laughs> we did it. Our software team really pulled through for us. We actually executed exactly what we wanted to. We did real on the first challenge. Good job. The second challenge, we seem to work out if our car is going to drive. Wow. <laughs> it might go. We don't know where. <laughs> Over the last nine months, these students have learned an incredible amount, uh, especially working with their Raytheon mentors on what it's like to work with a, a, a real customer. My role as a mentor is just letting the students uh, come up with the trade studies and, and giving us options, and then we walk through their, their work and explain the pros and the cons to meet the requirements and at the same time stay within our budget. A project like this, ties together all the theory they're learning in their engineering science courses with a very hands-on project. They are having to put a system together, make it work, test it out, but they have to deal with all the last minute problems that arise in, in the field. Oh my God. It would be so easy to just throw your hands up and say, I'm done, I give up, just walk away. But they don't. And of course, the mentor dynamic is part of that. But just seeing the students developing that sense of self and ownership and persistence to keep moving forward and never give up and to solve some of these problems along the way, it is just really exciting and encouraging. We have had some very quick thinking today. We didn't put as much effort on the networking as we could have, but we're definitely on the spot making adjustments. We've been having issues with integrating our systems. Um, so we're going back and we're gonna use our queue pilot, but now we're rewriting all of our code to <laughs> account for that. Uh, so hopefully we can finish in time. I saw some schools that had a you know, maybe reset after reset until finally uh, they got dialed in. And that's the inspiring moment is once they're dialed in and they have a very successful run, cheers erupt across the whole school. Everybody's excited. I really think that's what is so true and real about this competition is that like real life, you're going to encounter difficulties. You're going to have to overcome them with a technical fix, a field fix sometimes and adapt. This team came out, they work, they work, they work, they work, they work. Third place goes to Cal Poly Slow. Coming together as a group and seeing our drone go up and fly, it's just, it's very rewarding. <laughs> our second place award goes to Long Beach. <laughs> blessed to work with amazing people, amazing engineers. We all brought our expertise together. And so first place goes to UCSB. I can confidently say that everyone in our team has their own unique quality that brings a lot of benefit. And we really were able to leverage what everyone was good at doing in order to try and make this as successful as possible. Uh,